Hey guys, this is the Techno Trip, and today we are going to have a look at the new version of the Logitech gaming software of the G35. So, um, a couple of months back, if not a year ago, um, uh, Logitech recently updated uh, the G35 software. They did it kind of quietly, um, but it gives a lot better, um, I guess, usability compared to the old version, and also it's uh, a lot more um, familiar, um, it's a lot more similar to uh, the other Logitech software that you might use for your keyboard uh, or mouse. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. So we've got um, our visual layout here, and in the visual layout we can see we've got the microphone, we have the Dolby surround sound switch, we have the mute button, the volume, and the G keys. So here we can, we actually get a a visual representation of the picture of what it looks like. We just click on one and we can look at it all. Or we can go down to here and we have home, we have the G keys, uh, we have the, I guess, equalizer. So your volume levels, your muting, uh, your surround sound, and then back to your avatars again. So we'll get into a run uh, a rundown of that very quickly. Uh, but first, uh, we'll just go into the settings. So the settings are very much the same. We've got startup, run this program when the when Windows starts up. We've got profile activation software, so show profile activation notifications in the game panel display. Quick macros, so we can. Uh, show quick macro recording instructions on the game panel display and record delays during the quick macro creation. So this is, um, if you have a keyboard, uh, you can create quick macros uh, from your keyboard that get automatically assigned to, I think, a G key, which is very neat and very handy if you want um, just a, a quick G key that you want on your headset rather than using a G key on your keyboard, for example. Um, so you might want to create one that's more audio uh, focused. Uh, so then we have some profiles. So if you have any games, you could set up a profile. And that basically, uh, it will even check for when you load the game. It will go, oh, you've loaded this game. And it will automatically change that profile. So for example, when I load Call of Duty Black Ops, I could set the G1 key to reload. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could just have it as that. But when I'm in Portal 2, the G1 key activates the avatar animation doing like a high five or something. Uh, then you also have the persistent profile. So this is like the default profile. So the default one that's always active, as it says. And then we also have profile cycling. So you can even set up a hotkey that actually changes them on a keyboard that's not even um, uh, a uh, Logitech G programmable um, keyboard. Uh, and then we've just got the headset um, legal information. So we've got voice morphing. And that's about it. So we're just going to click OK to that, and so we're going to go back to the home, and we're going to click actually on the first one, which is the G keys. So the the G keys, I use it for um, a lot of stuff, like uh, spamming. So you could put stuff in like uh, hello, and then if I go um, T space um, T hello, and then if I copy and paste that, as you can see, I spend my friends all the time. It's uh, it's quite good to do. Um, and you just keep typing this in. And this is done using the text block. Um, and you keep typing this. The reason why you put T at the front is if it's in a video game. Video game's default um, text or typing uh, or chat option is usually T. So that's why you put T in front. And then... You can set a delay. Uh, some games will have uh, a delay lag, so uh, a delay, no, sorry, a spam, an anti-spam thing uh, Call of Duty does. So you might want to set the delay between characters quite high if that is the case. Uh, but generally, when I'm spamming on Steam, it works brilliantly. Uh, so you've also got stuff like audio, so we can unmute, bass increase, decrease, advanced equalizer. We could set it to a, a voice morph. Uh, Ventrilo, so if you have Ventrilo, it's actually got built-in Ventrilo support. Wish it had TeamSpeak support, unfortunately it doesn't. Media, play, stop, all the usual stuff that you find on even the keyboard these days. Uh, keystroke, so you can call it a keystroke and it will actually perform um, a series of keys, so we can make it go control shift and stuff like that. Yeah, there's also um, multi-key, so we could do multi-keystroke, so we could have it open up 
uh, Control E, which uh, sorry, Windows button E, which loads up tons of um, my computers, and we could spam the crap out of that. Text block, which is what we're using currently. We also have a mouse function. I don't know why you'd want to have that, but it's there, so it's ultimate customizability. Uh, hotkeys, shortcut, and uh, functions like um, loading up my computer already, so you don't even have to have a keystroke calculator. That could come in handy. I often need calculator, and it's great to have a default button for that. Or media player or a web browser. So the web browser and the uh, media player will load up your default um, application of that. So if your default one is Google Chrome, then it will probably load uh, Google Chrome rather than IE or um, Mozilla Firefox. So uh, you can, the pretty thing about these is you can actually move them around, so I can have it to that. Um, there is no undo option, just be mindful of that. Um, so if you are going to move stuff around, you might not want to do that. Um, uh, as well as you've got um, other quick useful hints like if you want G1 just to perform whatever the F2 button does in any game then you just drag that in and it becomes the F2 button which is fantastic uh, the other thing you could do is edit that use generic and unassign uh, so generally that's that's it uh, you have your profiles at the top so I've gone through uh, some of them very quickly but you can see the default profile portal 2 which is the gesture menu um, play pause um, the, the other thing I forgot to say is each game will have its own unique set of um, uh, commands. So if I go to Portal 2, I don't actually have to assign the gesture menu, because the gesture menu you have to press and hold Q. With um, Logitech, they've already obviously talked to Valve and all that, and they can easily uh, have that in. Uh, they've even got stuff like pause the game, all those, because they know the default one. Uh, use button, uh, use items, stuff like that. And so if we go to Call of Duty, we can see reload weapon, so show objective, scores, sprint, hold breath, stand, jump. So these are all specific ones for the application. So it's application specific. So that is the G uh, keys. Now we go to the uh, volume equalizer. So we got our standard um, volume right here. Our microphone, if I change that, then the audio of this video will go down. We have an audible mic indication a mic light as well so we could change the light settings to always on or follow mute so if it's muted it's going to be on for me we also have bass and treble and then if we wanted to we could turn the advanced equalizer on and this allows you to do ultimate tuning which is fantastic for any um audio fields or files in the uh uh in the gaming industry uh, the next thing we have is the surround sound mixer. I think this has been slightly changed compared to the uh, previous version. Previous version, you could just experience surround sound, and that was it. However, now we actually get an option to change each individual speaker's volume. Uh, so it's uh, a maximum of 11, and we could change even the bass. So if you don't like the bass being too loud, then we could change that. But if, usually, if the bass is too loud, then it's got to do more with uh, the equalizer here on the base uh, so that's that's it we can switch uh, we can't actually switch the um, Dolby surround sound on and off we have to do that by the physical button which is on the side there that's about it and the last one which is voice avatars so voice avatars you want to set your uh, your voice pitch so if you're a very high talker if your voice is naturally high then you go for highest low but also even if your voice is, let's say, a really low voice, and you want to make the space squirrel sound a bit different to what it is, or you think the space squirrel sounds too high, you could set it so high, and that means that people could still distinct to your voice, um, but you know, uh, it it's still given that uh, squirrel effect. So the icons have been changed. We've got the cyborg voice, the troll voice, giant voice, alien voice, mutant voice, and the space squirrel voice. I won't go through these, um, I will link you to a, a video that I did on an old channel of mine, um, which gives you a demonstration of all of these uh, ones. We'd also purchase additional voices, however, uh, per, in, in, on my personal opinion, most of the Screaming Bees uh, voice morphs sound pretty terrible, uh, and the only one I really like is the Space Squirrel, and I think practically any G35 owner would say that as well. 
So yeah, thanks for uh, watching. This is the Logitech Gaming Software update. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, favorite, um, and subscribe uh, because I've got plenty more content to come out. I am constantly uploading view, uh, a video every single day, um, if not two videos per day. So uh, make sure you subscribe for more awesome technology goodness. So thanks for watching. Bye.